A teenager has been arrested for a street racing hit and run that killed a Dallas woman who was out walking her dog. Hello, I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. Police Chief Eddie Garcia made that announcement during a community meeting about street racing in Far East Dallas. Two cars were seen racing right before one of them struck Linda Pearson and drove off last week. The other suspect, also a teenager, has been identified and the chief says will be arrested soon. Fox 4 Stephen Dial live with the plans police have for trying to cut down street racing. Stephen. Steve, Chief Eddie Garcia is saying that both of the suspects are teens, as you mentioned, one in custody, the other one they have identified, but he did not give any names as to who those suspects are. Meanwhile, the city staff says that they are planning on other ways to try to slow down street racing. The latest victim to street racing in Dallas is 73 year old Linda Pearson. Last week, she was walking her dog on Ferguson Road in Far East Dallas when she was hit and killed in a hit and run. Thursday in a community meeting, Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia announced a development in the case. And I will say the two individuals that were involved uh, in this tragedy and this specific tragedy and both individuals, one that's been arrested and the other one identified that will soon be arrested as our men and women will not stop, uh, are both in their late teens. Chief Garcia did not say the name of the suspect who was in custody. He also did not give any other details about the investigation. Councilwoman Paula Blackman hosted the meeting with Dallas Police and the city's transportation department to talk about the ongoing issues with street racing. We are looking to modernize our transportation grid that is more connected. We are updating our lights, we're changing the footprints of our roads, but it does take time. In the last eight months, there have been five deaths on the stretch of Ferguson Road from I-30 to 635. DPD's Northeast Patrol Division has been working on patrol strategies to reduce racing. That includes putting out decoy cars and radar boards. But still, they say mostly they're just reacting because the types of races they are seeing are spontaneous and not the same as street takeovers in other parts of the city. Over the last 90 days, we have ridden more than 45 citations out there, and we've had 15 major accidents at that location. City staff is looking at other ways to slow drivers on major roads with multiple lanes. One example they are considering for parts of Ferguson Road is something they have already done on Ross Avenue in downtown Dallas. If you drive on Ross near I-45, there are race pavement markings meant to slow people down. We're looking at uh, other uh, upgrades to, um, uh, to our traffic signal system, as well as the ability to uh, have uh, some uh, engineering uh, um, uh, options, if you will, that we can implement, such as placing the race pavement markings across the roadway to try to uh, uh, slow down that uh, traffic. Chief Garcia says there also needs to be more legislation. Now, lawmakers this year, this session, uh, actually did pass a law, and Governor Abbott signed it, that would allow law enforcement to seize uh, the vehicles belonging to repeat offenders. But again, that's reactionary, and the chief saying that the city needs to work together to try to find some proactive solutions instead of just reacting to all of these incidents.